so we gen generally want to just hi completely hide. Good evening, everybody. It's Saturday night. It's June 10th. Springtime in America. We're on Yeho Rivka here. You can see the sun setting. It's about that time. We're going to be running Operation Arrowhead. And this is Squad Ops. For anybody wondering, my name is the Buff Bandit, and I talk too much. And here with me tonight is CMYK Matter. What's up? Hello. How's it going? Yeah, he's going to be on my side tonight. We're going to be filling you guys in on the actions and happenings of tonight's One Life event. Should be pretty fun. And I uh, I'm passionate about this map, so uh, uh, I'm happy to see something on it. Be casting something on it. Should be a good time. Yeah, I always love events on Yeho because you know there's going to be vehicles involved, and you know there's wide open spaces, and there's going to be some power rushes. It's really cool. Oh yeah, there's a lot of interesting terrain on it too. You've got a lot of uh, really small ditches and things that you can try to move up in. There's tree lines everywhere. You got to be paying attention to 360 at all times. There's a lot of open fields as well, though. So you end up uh, with this nice little mix of close stuff in the woods, and then this little close contact actually in the villages, and then these giant wide open fields where you can just get mowed down by a an HMG trying to run across it. Oh yeah. Looks like a best pony is gonna. And let's go over the. MTLB up to the northeast. Let's actually go over the. What we got going on tonight? Yeah, my my MTLB is gonna go. Trying to get there. We go. I'm good to go. Right. Well, the the deal of the operation. It's a sweep and clear mission by Russia. So Russia's uh, gonna. They're gonna come come through a few select areas that they have to clear out. That you know the higher ups at the Kremlin have ordered them to come and sweep through, clear everything out. They know there's militia forces in here somewhere, and they have to destroy all their communications equipment, which is, in fact, a FOB. The militia can place the FOB early, and actually they already have. So it's around here somewhere. I'm sure we'll yeah, find the, it. Uh, the Russians actually have a plan of basically staging up a little bit to the north of this point, sweeping southward, and then moving westward through it. So uh, looks like there's going to be some contact early, more than likely. Their staging grounds are uh, going to be pretty close to this. Nice. Well, the, of the three positions, the militia have chosen like the JK keypad or the JK area, uh, J6, K6. So I guess you could call it East Stepney or West Indeed. Stepney. I'm sorry, West Stepney is what it is. And they've got the fob down. They can't build yeah. until live. They have got an assortment of vehicles to help them. Their squads are kitted out. Right, so do you want us in the east in Kilo and six, Pad six area, or just east and they're still briefing. Their the vehicles side. are kind of sitting around. I don't know what the plan is. I wasn't paying enough attention. But they are going to be basically Alamo in this place. They're going to set up a perimeter for sure. Let the vehicles push out and you know, and, and at least get first sight before they fall back. Yeah, it looks like what that's going to be a. Uh... Yeah, we'll definitely go over command right now. Let's do that. Uh, I'll do militia first here. They are headed by Xbit himself. Xbit's been commanding a lot lately. Excellent of him to step up and do that. Uh, he's got experience. He's got experienced squad leaders with him too. Those being Google Tricks, Best Pony, Tedish, and Satan. Uh, Satan squad's about half a squad. They're, we're not quite a full server tonight. So look for him to be running around being reactive. I'll kick it. Oh, all those squad leaders have done it multiple times. They're knowledgeable and competent squad leaders as well. I'll kick it over to CMYK Matter. He's going to tell you about the Russians. All right. So the Russians are leaded by none other than the illustrious Karmakut. Uh, he's obviously had a, a time or two at the helm uh, with most of these operations. And uh, also coming along with him is going to be Odessa, Lish, Nasty Nate and Quirkly. So all very experienced. It's going to be a really good time tonight. Uh, everybody has a lot of experience, and I think Karma can definitely have full confidence in every single one of these squad leaders. Yep. Oh yeah, lots of lots of good squad leaders. Looks like Russia is now ready. I think oh, that the yeah, militia man. have already said they're ready. So we'll see live calls shortly. Yeah, the Russians are getting shortly. ready about ready to set up into their vehicles. It looks like they're going to be convoying out of here pretty hard. 
Yeah, you I think that's a control, guys. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, we'll see it going soon. You guys are going to see a bunch of different cameras, and I don't actually have the camera list yet, but I will have that soon, and we are going to give a shout out to all the first person cameras that we have. They really are the, the ones, ones that make, to make this it really cool. Yeah. yeah, they're the cool ones that, that go out of their way to stream. And I see in chat, uh, Scheidnator asked, what exactly is Squad Ops? Well, Squad Ops is short for Squad Operations. And it's obviously within the game of Squad. And these are operations that a team has built, basically. Uh, a group of us have built to... Uh, to at least adhere or appease a one life event. So one life, that's all these people get. In in regular squad, there's, you can respawn a ton of times over and over and over and over and keep running in and dying if you, if you so choose to. But in squad ops, you only get one life. So once your guy's incapacitated and knocked out on the ground, that's it, you're done, no more. Yep, makes for really intense events too, because uh, you end up uh, really valuing your life in a way that you don't normally do in uh, a squad match. You know, you got to think about every single corner that you're going to peek could be the end of you for the entire round. So totally different. Oh yes, it is. It's it, it changes the way people play because they know they've only got one life. Uh, we're actually yeah. live at 125, and that's in 35 seconds. So once we get going live, we'll probably have a little downtime, and we'll talk a little more. But we will be live soon. Mm -hmm. And hey, what up, Call Sign Hotel? Good to see you in here. And I can yeah, see they, that the uh, militia are busy p positioning their MTLBs. The Russians have formed themselves a nice conga line of vehicles here that they're going to be rolling out on. It looks like they are going to be moving to a staging position to try to get themselves set and then dismount some infantry as well as moving the vehicles kind of outward to uh, flow through these different points that they have to uh, come through and sweep. And oh, with cool. that, we are live. We are. They're moving. Yep, they are yeah, rolling we'll on out. Follow the Russians for a bit. Moving themselves out here. The uh, I guess we should go over the assets a little bit. The uh, the different things that the Russians get. They get themselves two BTR-80s, as well as one MTLB uh, to work with tonight. Um, I believe they also get two ARs, one lat, and I'm not sure of the other kids. They, uh, they get a GL. I think they get a GL as well. Yep. yep, yep. Yeah, the militia get the usual, two AR and a medic. They also get a scout, which has IEDs and anti-tank mines, which is it'd be very clutch. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for them. The, uh, they, the IEDs, um, the amount of times I've seen the game come down to a few people, and then the last couple get killed by an IED is fantastic, you know? Oh, Scheidnader, where are you from? You from Europe? Dude, we do an EU session about five hours ago. <laughs> really useful for you now. Yeah, and we do it every Saturday. We have an EU session. Absolutely. It's five and a half hours before this time, because I'm not sure where you're at. It would still be pretty late. It would be 10 o'clock at night for you, but that's, that's doable. So it looks like the Russians here have pushed out their BTR first, and they are going to get it out here on a far western edge to try to uh, get some eyes out here. They're looks like they might be working towards the uh, the western fob first, but uh, they're dismounting a lot of infantry, and they might get ready to make a push southward here. Yeah, dismounting everybody except for their driver and gunner. The driver and gunner are tear gun and serial in that order. Uh, but the rest of the okay, infantry have pushed guys. themselves out yeah. southward. Right now, just to see. This looks like it's going to be Odessa's squad moving in from yeah, the uh, from the north. Yeah, as far as the militia go, they're kind of just holding up in buildings. They're not pressing out too far. They've got an MTLB that's off to the southwest. And actually, that might be the Lodgy. That's just the Lodgy running. The MTLBs and, and the SPG techie are hanging out, which they get... Uh, they get one SPG Techie, two MTLBs, and they're also going to be setting up mortars as soon as that Logi keeps running supplies, which can run, that thing can run all day if it wants to. It doesn't need an escort. It can go till it's dead. Actually, the Russians just spotted that Logi moving, and because of that, they might have a bit of an idea of what is going on and where they're going to be uh, setting up. They, they at least got eyes on for a moment. I heard Lish call it out in command chat. 
That's true thrill. I'm driving the logic. Yeah, so Carpy, I'm, I'm worried. Of, not worried, but I want to see. Just yeah, he's uh, he's heading the out road. there. It looks like he's oh, going to be continuing those runs as long as he can. But uh, that's the one downside of getting those runs in is that you make yourself quite kind of loud uh, with that thing. That thing can be heard for quite a while. Oh yeah, they can be loud. They're not quite MTLB tracks loud. But they are. <laughs> Those things they clatter they, along, they and you can hear them from half a map away, I swear. <laughs> yes, and they stand tall as well. That so it's they easy do. to see them when you think you're in cover. They're in cover. They're taller than most people. Right, they also handle uh, right, like they are riding on ice right, at times. <laughs> yep. And uh, Juke in the Box asked for a quick objective rundown. Oh, yeah, I'm going to open my map real quick. Yeah. The, the, the militia, which is the team I'm following, they get to choose between three different points. Uh, within the map that you know they could be anywhere it could be storage site west petrivka i'm not sure what the designated points are right now i actually haven't looked but they are they have chosen west stepney and they've dropped a fob here they get a lodgy to keep running they get a place up to two hmgs two mortars and they get two track vehicles and an spg techie so they they've got the defenses out the wazoo as the Russians are going to be bringing BTRs in. The Russians are tasked with clearing and sweeping the area. Their goal is to eliminate the communications mm -hmm. for the militia, which is their FOB. So once they take that FOB, they they can successfully retreat, and the militia have to to eliminate them. The, the main goal of all the main goal of all operations is for everyone to strategically gain or engage each other. And until basically the last man is dead for one team. Now, sometimes objectives are met and completed and done. And you know what? We're just going to keep making up new rules to keep the game going until everyone's dead. <laughs> That's basically how it goes. <laughs> we want everyone to participate and have a good time. We don't want someone to just sit there in the back all the time. And then their team loses and we call a good game because they're not there or the time runs out. There's we've got timers on things and that and people always get yep. confused about timers. The timers are there to encourage people not to camp. Basically, if right, so if people here. are sitting around too long, we'll we'll encourage them. They'll they'll get a message to keep moving. But but for the Some most of those part, last it's... minute firefights, those are really exactly, the fun yeah. ones. I remember Odie Tap with uh, uh, Makarov, I believe it was a few weeks ago, taking out three people with it or four people as they pushed into a hut right at the end. You know, um, so those are really the fun moments for it. I think. All right, we're going to go picture in picture. All right, the BTR set up in Julia 3. Yeah, essentially take the fob, Juke of the Box. I'll be the main. CMYK matter will be in the top left. So what I'm gotten you're one seeing on... Drop so far. Yeah. Uh, what you're seeing oh, from I'm me, seeing... it looks like a couple people are pushing southward to get first eyes on the this fob from the militia. Juliet 7, keypad... Nine, I'm looking head. northwest Nine, from just, just two the line basically the defense location, the and I'm seeing all the little red triangles coming in and vehicles. So yep, yeah, they're so they're, doing a sweet, they're starting to move sweet. in. Karma has got himself this position, this vantage point uh, from up here on this hill, and he's got those binos, and he is uh, he is scoping out everything. He's telling them push, push, push right now. So he's getting everybody to get themselves moving. He just got him up in stamina. Oh, yeah? Is he Looks right like behind gonna... the BTR? Yep, yep, he's right beside the BTR. <laughs> I was just looking at him from... I zoomed in, I just yep. saw him right there. That's pretty funny. Yeah, he is right beside that BTR, uh, guiding it in, using it as a shield, almost, uh, while the rest of his infantry forces move in. It looks like they've got a... If I uh, if I move myself out to the west here a little bit and look, they have a beautiful line going on here. The spacing is gorgeous, and I think they're going to try to wrap these forces. Oh yeah, I can even straight see straight around. I'm so far away, I can see the little fire team placements. I can see the little spread between fire right? teams and who's with who. I'm that starting movement. to see names coming in like Hyper Evo and Crazy Russian. Uh, I see a guy named Moose over there. Yep, we've got a uh, rival helicopter, Nasty Nate. Uh, they're going to be the ones who are going to be pushing more close to the actual defense, but the line formation that they have going on is... That is fantastic to see. That is just really well organized. I love it. 
It's going to be interesting to see what they do when they hit this water. Yeah, There's a big, yeah. almost a lake. It's like a glorified pond or something here. Three, and to the left. they're going to run right into it. And it's nothing but a wide open death field. Negative. Yep. If yep. they choose to cross it. So it might Copy. might see a little strategy change. I see Shadowed Ritual on on my side of the lake. He's looking uh, command, he's looking that way. And if they try to cross, he's going to see them. And they're, yeah, they've got more than that. They've got an MTLB right down here also, a track vehicle looking yeah. northwest. Mm -hmm. Looks like Sightless and Kahuna as well. They, uh, they're they all lined up across there. And uh, it looks like Nasty Nate and his crew are going to be pushing in here. And they're going to get to that edge of that lake. And when they get to that edge of that lake, we might see our first contact here. Oh, gosh. There's a giveaway tonight. We're doing a giveaway tonight also. A squad oh, yeah. key giveaway. All you have to do is type in chat. I totally forgot about that. I meant to say that earlier. All you have to do is type in chat between now and the end of the stream. I've, I've got it set so that there's no timeout. Just it's four hours, so west. if this takes that long, then we all need help. <laughs> uh, Nate just called out that he's seeing infantry across that lake that you platoon mentioned, hold, platoon hold, platoon hold. and uh, they are getting everybody to hold up, and they are like going to reevaluate their strategy. Karma is going to uh, start working on getting some of their units back in place here. They now know where the contact is. Absolutely. They have eyes on. They are definitely... Uh, getting themselves in position to engage that. It looks like the rest of the squads that he sent out west for himself, the rest of the squads that Karma sent out west, are now going to start wrapping around, and they are going to actually attack it from the west. Though they're going to run into that lake. That lake is massive. All right, there's the first shots. Yep. Here in Satan and Tedish say contacts north. And there sure are. Let's we'll see what Tedish sees. I'm sorry. I'm not even sure where he's at. There he is. They don't get orders, we do. But they have So they know they're there. I think the Russians are being patient so that they can get together and push as a whole and maybe kind of horseshoe around this comp, this defense point. Mm -hmm. Now, in What's this office. What's up, Jack Reynolds? What's up, Chelsea Bot? That's Google Trex's wife or something. Yes, it is. Yep. She comes in here and talks him up. So he better not let us down. He's he's on my team, <laughs> and he's a squad leader. Let's go Google Cam. We went Google Cam last time, didn't we? That, that I was here. Google Chelsea Cam's Bowser important. Here. On Google Cam, he's standing in the middle of the fucking road. Are you kidding me, Google Tracks? Come on. Take a little bit of cover, Tactical bro. Tactical positioning. <laughs> Perfect timing there. <laughs> I was expecting him to be holding a shovel, spinning around or something like that. Oh, you know, actually... Just... He actually just called out contact to the north, so he was seeing something mm -hmm. up there. The uh, the BTR just actually opened up, and uh, it was firing itself uh, down towards the uh, the south here. I think it might have gotten eyes on somebody up in town. I can't really tell who. It's Server Air 404 in Zoko in the uh, in this M or this BTR laying down some suppressive fire. They do have a bit of zoom on this thing, so they should have a bit better view than most people. It definitely does. Uh, Bombardian's in the MTLB. He's got a zoom as well. Not mm -hmm. Definitely not as strong of a gun, but able to do Absolutely. the job. He's in great cover. All only thing sticking out is this gun right now. I don't know where the other MTLB went. Yeah, there it is right there. Somebody it's looking to the yep. east. Yeah, and Karma's, trying to, Karma's trying to get his guys moving. He just said that uh, he doesn't want to get stuck while they are pushing up and that the, then let those mortars rain down. I guess we should have mentioned that uh, Militia does get the ability to place mortars. So they are going to be able to zero in on this and they might be able to actually provide some uh, some heavy fire on this location if they sit for too long. You know, that's quite interesting. They haven't placed any mortars yet either. So Really? They've, that's surprising. Uh, they've got at least a couple Lodgy runs so far. Burn it down. The BTR is opening up onto what looks like Sightless and Kahuna. They are... Uh, Karma's informing them it does go through sandbags, and uh, this thing... This thing's gun. It will uh, it will penetrate very oh, light surfaces, Shoot. fences. Oh! Did they get Tedish? I think they got Tedish. No, they didn't. They got immune style. I think that was immune style. In the middle of the road over here. So we have had our first casualty, and it was immune style, one less than your online, we'll I think, or Faffinator. Shit. Could have been. I don't know which one it was. I want to say immune style because he's in Tedish's squad. So. Yeah, who knows. yeah. 
Karma is still using this BTR as a uh, as a shield, basically. He's just hiding behind it, and then he's calling out targets for the BTR to fire in on. Oh, Hyper is helping him out right beside. That's BTR crazy. is firing. That's good. You know the the militia are being real patient. They're just kind of staying they back. They're, I'm sure I haven't heard a lot of local chat because I'm flying pretty high, but I'm sure they're saying don't peek your heads out. They got the BTR looking. Keep other angles. Mm -hmm. You know, keep well, looking they other angles. That... They're going to be wrapping around. They're going to flank. Mm -hmm. They know if they want to move across this pond, across then the only way to do that is to literally just run across open dead field. So it's going to be real hard for them to do that, for the Russians to push in like that. So militia being patient is absolutely doing the right thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, Schneid, Schneidnader just asked if medics can revive. No, they cannot. They can only patch you and heal you. You can patch yourself, and the medic can heal you to full health. But once you're down, you know, black screen where it says hit enter to open menu or whatever, that's it. You're done. You hit give up. You oh, here we go. We've got Sensei go Mike. Spectator. Sensei Mike and his squad pushing across the pond. They have put themselves on the other side of the pond, and they are actually pushing towards Shadow Ritual area here. And uh, we might see them running headfirst into it. Sensei Mike's trying to get good eyes out. That's actually Licious squad. Uh, Is it Sensei Licious? Mike must be yeah. a fire team leader, yeah. Yeah, he is an FTL. Yep, he's got an AR. So uh, often you'll see that the uh, fire team leads in the squad ops are the uh, assault or the um, AR gunners, simply or um, the LMG gunners, I should say, simply because uh, they get tracers, and it's a lot easier to tell your fire team that uh, to just fire on my tracers. So. Of, oh, there we go. El Sabrowski like and Bombardier both shooting shots. El Sabrowski's got a Dishka. He's firing to the west, just suppressing mm. the hell out of him. Yep. Kirkley and Heartbreaker are sitting over there in their MTLB, their track vehicle. Yep. They are getting ready to... Oh, yeah, the MTLB's firing back. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. literally going right over top of uh, Moreed's kids and Lish here. That's, uh, that's never a fun experience, but at least you know it's friendly. El Sabrowski's reloading. MTLB's not doing too much. See a little movement. Oh, here comes Boosted Turbo. He says, fuck it. He's going straight I'm across running. the river. <laughs> the, the pond, he's the only one. Oh, Moose is now one. pushing in behind him, but Boosted... Oh, Rival Helicopter moving as well. Copy that, for. Moose on the way. There, it looks like the Russians are making their push right now. Yep. Very well suppressed on, oh. the, on the west side, which is where a majority of their guys are. Rival helicopter right, pony goes just down out the trying river to make crossing. that crossing. Or the pond crossing, or whatever. Yeah, the uh, pond Commanding cut. militia is Xbit. Commanding Russia is Karma Cut. Both very good commanders. Moose is They've bleeding very out good over squad here. Oh! As well. Boosted Nasty Turbo Nate just got, got team killed by Zoko. Oh, that, Oops, that BTR was trying to fire in. And uh, just absolutely lit up boosted turbo. That is unfortunate. Oh, I see someone taking shots at a crazy Russian as he's trying to serpentine across the... Oh, Hyper Evo goes down. The MTLB just cut him down. Crazy Russian's about to get the same treatment. He doesn't keep serpentining. Get the hell out of there. Got to move out quick. <laughs> Poor Hyper Evo just poof. Just peppered On this dead. northern push, man, crazy Russian. Oh, he had shots coming in right at him. That was... That was terrifying. And he made close. it. That was, a, that was a beautiful part. He made it. Wow. In the Excellent. meantime, another squad. That's Odessa squad. A fire team from Odessa squad is on the southwest now. They're actually going to try and get to the southwest, push through this open field. Yep. In the, you know what the cool thing is? The militia are all holding positions. They haven't given up looking, keeping their 360. Uh, all of Satan's squad is on the south side. They're looking everywhere. They've even got Mighty and Carpy pressed out to the... To the south. Uh, yep. Here comes Truth Realm with another Logi run. He so is just killing it with the Logi runs right now. And look at I'm gonna try and see. He's he's like, already dropped four. Yeah, I have no problem so he's now. made four Logi runs. That was his fourth yeah. one. But uh, Carpy won't be able to get Sensei shot. Mike uh, and is it Keevan? Something like that. Uh, have pushed themselves up on that Dishka position. They're here to the south, just over the hill from it. They're oh, trying yeah. to uh, try to get themselves a little bit of an angle. And if they can get a good angle on that Dishka, they might be able to neutralize this position. Vehicle south, east, position. 
They're definitely the west side and the southwest is where they're going to make their approach from. Indeed. Squad that, in north the southwest. Just, right side that north side is just. Yeah, that north side push. Got, that's that's way too open. <laughs> yep, they they took it up there, and it was a distraction most likely, and they did a good job because look how close the rest of the team is. Now. Absolutely, absolutely. There's really only one squad over here defending right now. So something odd. I don't know if you see this way out to the uh, the southwest here. Uh, Carpy and Mighty have pushed out to try to get eyes on this force, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see if I can take Man. a look and see what they're packing. Uh, one's a, Mighty's a scout. Carpy's a rocket launcher. Bazooka, so... Mm. Yep, definitely trying he, to get oh, eyes on them. Carpy's down, though. Oh. So they have smoked up on this western push, and they are getting ready to make their move. It's going to be a tough push for them. That's uh, they do have the MTLB supporting them, but these are entrenched positions. Oh, there goes the IED right there. Someone just yep. let it rip. Didn't kill it's, anybody, uh, but man, that no, made it some hurt. You had me at Jello. <laughs> Jello, I guess. No shadowed rituals and uh, IEDs. Scared to have. That and actually, it. look at them move up. The Russians took that yep. as it. Since they Mike dermoplast, space monkey pushing up on the Sensei, Sensei Mike. Mike goes down. Oh, the MTLB just took a hit. Great, great rocket. I think that was Jay LaChapelle. Yep, he's going to jump up, give it another one. Here comes another one. Boom, it's Boom. done. Great rockets by Jay LaChapelle. Beautiful. Good work on that thing. Now, Evans' SMA is down. Keevan just took a shot. Yep. Militia, great defense here. Good job by them holding it. This Western push was... Uh... Not successful in the end, it does not look like. They've got... Uh, oh, yeah, they're shooting the wall. Casualty. They know yep. those bullets penetrate that fence now. They're, yep. they're peppering through there. Oh, looks like Keevan threw a nade. Yep. And it killed Dermoplast. Whoops. Bounced off the fence. <laughs> it killed bad. themselves and, and goes Dermoplast. Down and killed himself. <laughs> uh, <oops>. Well. <laughs> a little rough. Sometimes you just can't take it anymore. Oh, and that... MTLB's finally moving out. Yeah, looks like he's gonna try to get Both BTRs in position. the southwest. Odessa squad is way to the south. This isn't over yet. Mm -hmm. oh, Both hey, BTRs sorry, are still okay, alive. Okay, MTLB. Okay, the MTLB is repositioned. He's looking south. He might have a shot. If he looks south, he'll get a shot. Oh, nope. They're just out of sight. I think they're just... If it was winter time, that grass wouldn't be so tall and he might be able mm -hmm. to see. Uh, back up on the north, we've got Russian and Moose trying to do a little push in here and relink up with their attack that was on the west. Uh, they're doing their best to try to get themselves mortars linked out. back up Just and maybe do mortars a... out. So we've got mortars kicking mm -hmm. it now. Yep. They finally the got them up. Met up and... with Odessa's squad. The two BTRs are pushing in. This is going to turn into a southern battle here. There's still a, almost a full squad. Two, four guys worth. Okay, a fire team's worth. The mortars, the mortars the west. are landing way off northwest, uh, not hitting anybody currently, but they'll walk those in. Copy that. Oh, we so might currently see Shadowed Ritual drive Bombardian up here. Mm -hmm. If they go a little farther forward and look left, they got that beach. Oh! Grenades wow. hitting. Jay LaChapelle goes down. Great grenade round by somebody. It might have been... Captain Bands, or you had me at Hello, or more eats kids. There's three of them, and crazy. Yeah, I Russian think that well. was you had me at yeah, Jello. Crazy Russians getting himself ready here. He's uh, trying to move through these weeds here. If he were to look a little bit to the south, he'd see Space Monkey. If you look uh, northeast, you're going to see an SBG truck plus... All right, I hear Xbit saying, shift some bodies north. Going to need a few north. There's four guys over here at the north. That's it. The rest are south. So they're pulling away from the actual threat. Mm -hmm. Oh, but someone's down. Two are down. Three, maybe. Great. Great shots. Oh, that was mortar fire. Shit, we missed it. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that was the, excellent. Uh, Looks like he dropped the MTLB three or four just took a the MTLB just took a uh, an RPG actually from Moose up here. Oh, and there goes the MTLB. Moose takes it, it down. All right, Ted is shot out. 
That thing can only take two shots. Looks like he killed Bombardian with the explosion as well. No, that was Google Trex. He team killed Bombardian on accident. Oh, oops. Okay. And one in they're, they're, they're southwest. All right, mighty both spotting there. for the mortar. I think, and, and oh gosh, that whole squad. Odessa's whole squad just got Fuck, wiped. Oh my there. god, I wish we would have got that. Karma command pushing in solo takes down. Takes down Let's one. See the void. Let's see if he can keep it going. He's in the bushes. He's got snaps behind him. Right, Tidish he's, is right there. Tidish is behind the car. Uh, for he's yeah, got a looks... friendly also. Truth realms there. Cross. Oh, there goes command. Right, I'm, Karma I'm, I'm, is down. That's, that's command for Russia down. Let's take a look at this. And Schnapps goes got down too. 18 to 7 for kills, so Militia is definitely holding very well. Yeah, very good defense. I think, uh, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, that was a very good defense from them. They had good fallback points, good emplacements, it feels like. Actually, the this, this whole squad threat. out to the southwest. Oof. The main threat's on the west now. They've actually taken out everybody. On this west side. Yep. It's Captain Bands, Crazy Russian, more Eats Kids, and Moose. They freaking wrecked them. They do have, still have one BTR up. Uh, they have Tear Gun and Serial in that one still. All we need to do is consolidate. We'll minimize the BTRs. Let them roll in on us. Looks like they are uh, trying to regroup themselves to get themselves ready for uh, whatever kind of push they can formulate out of this. You know, they, they have that BTR, so they can use that. And then they know that they have a couple of infantry, but what do we do with uh, these couple of infantry that we have? You know, Especially where, with command down. That's the hardest we... part. Regrouping, mm -hmm. figuring out a new plan with command down. Especially with a few numbers. There's five of them left, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Only five left. And what I do like to see is that they are using local chat to communicate. Uh, so they are trying to keep everybody, you know, together. That's the way you got to do it once it gets real late in these rounds. Just use local, try to get everybody on the same page. Oh, there is another BTR. There is that other BTR to the south. Oh, yes, there is. East? Yeah, southeast down there. I did not see that one. In anticipation of friendly, or enemy forces on that location. I hear local chat saying that's a BTR. <laughs> All right, I got eyes on their BTR. <laughs> They're calling it out. They know it's there. Oh, Tedish sees the BTR. He's going to go hit it with the SPG. I'm going to get this. He's coming right in on it. Oh, and their mortars are a little off. Let's see if Tedish will turn on it. It's to his right a little bit. Squad two, watch your west. They're close. They're about to cross the road to your west. Mori Eats Kids is uh, kind of taken over as default command on this little western squad. And they are doing a, a small Tedish push missed. in. But the BTR backed it up. See yep. if he can hit it again. It's getting wide in the open for him. Is it going to hit him? No. Our Tedis got to take it out. BTR took him out. I'm surprised it's not shooting at that SPG to finish it off. Nice try, Tedis. There it is. Boom. Yeah, that's there goes gonna that. The... That's going to hurt him. That SPG tech he just got taken out. That's down. Now the yeah, BTR. Tear gun and cereal are just driving right through the center of town. Oh, <laughs> they have enemy everywhere around them, and they're just opening up. They just took out Best Pony. He was on the mortar. Yep, they took out the mortars. So now the now mortars they're firing through the walls. Yeah, Nerf is in trouble. IED goes off. I don't know if it killed anybody. There's someone dead there, but I don't know if it actually killed them. Or Sang's on the dish guy shooting like crazy. Yep. Oh, he sees him in the building, though. He's shooting into the house. That's actually accurate fire. Yep. And he gets over the sandbags. He's got the BTR on the other side of him. The BTR takes down Nerf as well. They are, uh, this BTR pushed in, and it is just laying waste. Yeah, they know better than to get on that mortar now. Where are we yep. at now? 14 to 21, so the militia, or the Russians are coming in doing some good damage on the militia. Tear Gun is acting as a, uh, a forward spotter and driver for this BTR. He's hopping out, running around, seeing where guys are, and then he's telling Serial where the guys are when he gets back in and moves it around. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting to see. He almost pushed a little too far. Good thing he went back yeah, there. Yeah. 
They do have people out to their south as well here. Who's in this house over here? That is the Iron Tyrant pushing out to the south here to get eyes on. Expit as well. So this is Command still up uh, for the Militia. Knows that BTR oh, yeah. is there, but can't really do much about it. Yeah, Militia's got a lot left. They're, they outnumber him by about six right now. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Did Expit just go down? No, he's up still. So no, he's still up. We're saying, we're saying bid it. Mori eats kids, and Moose are moving up now along with... Is this Captain... I don't know this one. Captain Bands. I haven't seen him before. Much might, might be new to our ops. That's great. It looks like... The militia almost mm. need to group up a little more. Oh, Mori eats kids gets taken out by Magnetic, so... Magnetic. And Moose Captain goes down Bands. also. Magnetic with another one. Captain Bands is coming in. Let's see if Magnetic sees him. He had uh, good eyes on uh, Xbit, the command, and he was firing at him, but uh, Xbit got a great grenade out, it looked like. Alright, MW's ready to go if you want us to peek out now. In the meantime, both BTRs are at the main intersection in here. Mm -hmm. You see Damon the Rapper for sure. Oh! Oh, this guy. There's the MTLB going in. Oh, MTLB. Taking on yep. the BTR. Oh. There's no way. They lost. Yeah, the MTLB is going to lose that every time, one on one. Yep. They're yep. At each other. The MTLB does not have the ability to take on a BTR right, like MTLB that. Down. It's rolling north. Oh, one BTR hit Took another with hit. a rocket. Yep. So both BTRs have taken damage, that's for sure. Absolutely. One of them, perhaps significant damage. The one with Serial and Tear Gun is still burning. The other yep. BTRs fled straight out of there and took off to the north. As far as infantry goes, besides those two BTRs, I believe the only one currently up as infantry is Captain Bands. Uh, being that solo push, just doing his best. You're right. He's about you to get taken out by Magnetic. Captain Bands and Magnetic are trading their shots. Yep. And Captain oh, Bands bleeds out. out. Oh, yep. So it's now two BTRs against the around. remaining militia forces. Magnetic takes him out from this window right here. Great shots from him. Good eyes to see out there. And he moves back trying to get some uh, some decent view on this intersection. So now it's I basically don't... the two BTRs. Yeah, I don't see any. There's no anti-tank mines by the scouts place down, and they are totally usable. And don't <laughs> forget, everybody, there's a giveaway tonight. Type in the chat. You know, say, go Militia, go Russia, go Karma Cut, go Muff Bandit, anything like that. That just enters you. Go see him, YK Man. Uh, we're giving oh. away a squad key tonight. <laughs> Whether you have the game or not, you can have the key, and you can give it to someone who you adore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll be at the end of round two. This is round one right now. Yeah, things are winding down here. We'll see if they can handle these BTRs. I wonder if the militia just does not have the lat up to take it down. If they just don't have lats or... You know, I don't know if they do the or not. But they, they should have anti-tank mines, if nothing yes, else. Yes, absolutely. They can strategically place within reason. I don't know where the other BTR went, though. Yeah, there's the one with tear gun and serial. Oh, there it is. It's off to the... God, I don't even know. Which way is the sun? It's towards the sun. East. It's off to the east. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's doing this wide move out here. I wonder... Oh, I, ID Mighty coming in. He's creeping up on the BTR. Yeah, he's going to try it. I'm right on Mighty. He's got it out. Oh, he sees it. He's ready. He's creeping up along the wall. He's got a good shot. Oh, no, maybe not. Nope, they have eyes. He hit the deck. He's crawling forward. It hasn't hit him yet. It off right now. It's directly in front of me. He pulled his gun out, but oh, Mighty actually said he's pissing it off right now. If someone else can distract it. Trying to penetrate Mighty's, those sandbags. He's going to throw a smoke, it looks like. Yeah, he's throwing a smoke on it. We have the ammo points. We can just start launching it around. Just make it scare. Oh, it's oh. moving. Yep. Mighty time. Time Damn. for Mighty. He's going to get shot. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> they got him. Oh, that was That's that a was big rough. hit. Big hit on Militia there. I don't know what they got left for... Advanced weapons, but their fob is still up. That's mm -hmm. a big thing for them.
The fob yeah, is they what have to take that fob. The Russians down. are after. It's right here. You got it in this little shed. I would just finish this house. X bit you cross. So now we are just down to these two BTRs for uh, Russia. Um, this one here being piloted by uh, Server Air 404 and Zoko, uh, pushing themselves back in, trying to get back on the assault. And now firing in, uh, trying to lay down some suppressive fire on this northeast side. Looking for that bullet pen. Doesn't manage to get anyone with it. Oh, mortars! Mortars going out again! Let's see. What the heck? Oh, gosh, that's why. Alright, that's, that's expert launching. That's command launching mortars. Let's see, should be about five seconds to splash here. Way too far. Way too Much far. Too Those far, were right? way off east. I just... Oh, yep, there they are. Uh, they are landing way off to the east here. More mortars going out. Is the command still up? Yeah, I'm shooting a mortar right now. See if uh, they hit again with that spot. Should be about 10 seconds to splash. The uh, the hard part about hitting vehicles with mortars is just this long travel time. What do we got? Those landing closer okay, to Master town B. now. Oh. oh, here they come. They're going to get x -bit. If they drive forward, they're going to look right at him and drop him. Yep. Oh, he snuck off just in time. All right, let's look at it. We're at 20 to 25. Oh, it looks like tear gun got out. We don't have any lot left. It is interesting. They uh, they've cleaned this up a lot with effective use of these BTRs. Um, the problem it seems to be is that militia is having a hard time taking out these BTRs, and since they don't have anything to take them out until they run out of ammo, they can just keep utilizing them. Yeah, their lats are gone. Is what it sounds like. They're I haven't yeah. got an affirmative I'm still up. from command yet, but oh, okay. sounds like all lats are gone for militia. All right, it's moving south. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe. Uh, oh, there we go. There's his... a little Dishka fire. Oh, Dishka fire oh. takes it out. Wow. That was sightless so. with the Dishka fire tearing up one BTR. So one BTR left. We are down yep. to what? One Russian or two or? Two Russians. Right, Immune or uh, Server Air 404 and Zoko yeah. are the two that are piling this one. Did the other one just run away north, or did it just come back? And it looks like he is. Uh, Same one. It's only kind one of guy. chilling out in this field. There's only one, guy, one left. guy. Yeah, uh, it's Zako. May have abandoned it. Zoko. Zoko. Let's get everybody. Yep. This Last man for the lost. Russia. Yep, for sure. I think I hear something far off the west, but uh, it was just for a second. He is all by himself over to the east. We try and get rid of these. There we go. Oh, one minute. Karma Cut made the call. One minute. Zako's shooting. He's just going to just laying down probably. fire. He's got nothing else that's going to work. Well, I mean, he has to take out that fob. He has to try to find it, or else that is definitely a win for Militia, which is what it's looking like here. Yeah, we'll uh, see if he moves. I don't see him. Uh, yeah. Like militia put a mine down. Here he comes moving. They're firing some more mortars. Looks like he's finally maneuvering himself into the city here to try to do something about this. And he hits a tree. It's a little rough. It can be hard. You don't know we'll what trees you can drive through. Yeah, we'll see him roll in here. See if he hits a mine. He's going to walk right into that dishka. Yes, he is. There it is. Yep, Disco fire is opening him. up. He's done. 
That's GG. Oh, he ran out of ammo. Oh, no, he's shooting some more. There, there it is. is. That's GG. GG. Uh, that was a good Dishka placement. That Dishka ended up winning it for him right there. It did. That was crazy. That Dishka right there, man. Yeah. It was sightless with the last ones. Last two kills there. That is going to be GG. Wow. See. That was, Tennis uh, dropped okay. six for the militia. Great job by him. And 11 for Serial on that BTR. Wow. Wow. Tearing it up. They, him and Tear Gun really tore it up on that thing. Yep, they did a great right. job. So that was round how one. It ended, up, ended up for that. Yeah, that was round one, Operation Arrowhead here on Yeho Rivka. Squad Ops One Life event. That was Expert versus Karma Cut. Thank you to them so much. I totally should have a list of cameras. And thank you to all the cameras that we got going on. I just haven't looked at it yet. Darn it. But uh, we'll go uh, Google Trex, Big Yes, Tedish, Server Error 404, CMYK Matter, Mighty Truth Realm, Shadowed Ritual, Best Pony, and Hyper Evo. All of them are cameras for us tonight. And big shout out to them. It's not possible without them. Of course, Penn's the man behind it all. He makes it happen. We'll the talk mastermind. more about that later. Uh, don't forget, stick around. We're giving a squad key at the end of this. We're halfway there. Round one's over. Round two is going to be beginning in a few minutes. Go take yourselves a break. Grab a drink, take a leak. Uh, go kiss Google Tricks, Chelsea Bot. Wish him Do luck. It. Tell him to play better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. He did great. He did great. Um, but we'll be right back. We'll just we'll be right back in a couple minutes. We'll play uh, our SOTT videos and be back in no time. Thanks for watching. Round two coming up. <laughs>